Good morning. Thank you. And thank you, Jonathan. Uh, it's great to be here. I'm one of the maintainers and one of the original authors of the Zool project. And as you heard, Zool is a new top-level project under the OpenStack Foundation umbrella. Um, but Zool isn't a new project. Zool has been around for a while. And if you've been to these events before, you may have heard of it. Uh, if you have, well spotted. If you haven't, that's actually perfectly understandable. Zool has, for the past six years, quietly been running one of the world's largest public CI systems for one of the world's largest open source projects. The sysadmins and developers working on Zool have been working behind the scenes to make sure that every patch to an OpenStack project is tested before it lands. We have a philosophy of Git-driven development and operations, and we found that people need what we've been building. Software development is uh, increasingly interdependent, and operations are increasingly driven by software. Zool is the engine that drives that for the OpenStack project, and we want to share it with you. So what is Zool? Zool is an automation system that's focused on project gating. We believe that every change to a piece of software or to a running system should be a commit, and every one of those commits should be tested before they land. We think that related changes should be tested together so that complex actions can be tested from end to end before they're even begun. In Zool, jobs are written in Ansible. That's a deliberate choice that we made, because Ansible can deploy software anywhere, whether it's on bare metal, virtual machines, containers, network switches. There's a huge ecosystem of modules and roles that helps Ansible do just about anything under the sun. The idea with Zool is that you can write uh, an Ansible playbook to deploy your system in production, and you can use that same playbook in, de in development or in your CI testing. Zool reads its configuration from Git repositories. This is a natural consequence of our Git-driven philosophy. When somebody proposes a change to Zool's configuration, Zool evaluates that change dynamically in the same way that it would evaluate any other change, and it begins to use it immediately. This gives developers a huge amount of flexibility to create ad hoc CI tests for exactly what they're working on at the moment. Zool supports Garrett and GitHub and GitHub Enterprise. When you take that and you combine it with Zool's ability to integrate projects uh, together in testing, what you're given is the ability to perform cross-community CI testing. And that's probably the most important thing that I can say here today, is that Zool is designed to help developers work across project boundaries. And that's true whether those developers are in another office, another company, or another country. Zool is free software. We developed it according to the core principles that we adopted in the OpenStack project. We call those the four opens. And we're going to continue to use those as Zool becomes its own project with its own growing community. And it's thanks to that community that we made a major new release. Zool v3 uh, stands on its own as its own project, capable of, excuse me, capable of handling OpenStack's workflow and anything else you can throw at it. Thank you.